right, so uh, yesterday we started classifying differential equations, right? We had differential equations, we had homogeneous linear differential equations, non-homogeneous. We talked about the order of a differential equation. We talked about separable differential equations. So here's a first little review question. What did linear mean? Linear meant, you could write it in this weird form. And you had some a of t, n derivative of y, a function of t, and my first derivative of y, plus okay, a function of t times the first derivative of y, plus another function of t times y, Can we put this separable differential equation in this linear Well, one of the things you first see is kind of weird. Here you always have derivatives, and here you just have differentials. But we can take differentials like this and turn it into derivatives dividing. Okay? Divide by dt. So we get f of y dy dt equals g of t. Or if we want to write this in the sense notation, this is y times the derivative equals a function. So, is it linear? Well, the right hand side is it's got a function of t. The left hand side is a derivative. In front of the derivative, you're supposed to have a function of t. Is a function of t? Yeah. Function of y. So that's non-linear. You start by dividing all the differential equations into linear and non-linear. Now, if we just restrict to order, if we consider order one. Okay, so first order differential equation. If we go to the nonlinear side, we get a nice class, the separable one. So we have all differential equations. Split them up into linear and nonlinear. You already that uh, they like to use, these are the really hard ones you know, we just can't possibly solve, right? or would require a genius like just to, to solve them. But sitting in these nonlinear, well, we have all the right, the first order ones. Actually, this we don't want to partition it like that. First order. And sitting inside the first order, you have the separable ones. And we already saw that first order separable different equations, you just integrate both sides. And if we know how to compute the then we're in the We can solve this difference. So there's an example of a nonlinear differential equation. 
a good idea how we can solve it. But we also really want to know how to make the integral. Right? That's why the demand type uh, This is what's going to motivate a good chunk of this course where we figure out how to find antiderivatives. Because right? I mean, if you're going to solve this differential equation, you have to be able to find the antiderivative. Okay. So that's So, uh, today, I just want to go through and work a bunch of examples, right? We'll collect and see how we call them and make a few locations of different the definitions or anything uh, before we move on to the working um, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then okay, let's divide by the dt and also divide by the f of t. Dy by dt equals f of t. As long as f of t is not a derivative, of course, it's a derivative. So yesterday we a general Like this, this was a separable. So we're going to try to do Here's one. Right. Guys, wrong. Okay, so again, so I can just fill So yeah, how do we try to classify these things? So Linear, we know the form. You have form. Of course, it's four. Not a bad idea. We, 
separate, something's going to have to go out eventually. All right? So something we'll get We still have the term. Right. How can I get all the extra on the other side? this all differential equation But of course, the right to right, right, the anti and that drop. We're going to do this. So starting with an anti plus C, that. Cancel this. Representing text. Remember about when you have two around. The other, they're all numbers. One constant. Except actually 
drop one. So think about it to the other constant. Nice. Here we'll uh I and then no sign of y over the minus t, but minus right still constant, right? This isn't becoming remember sending set of for all real numbers calculation of these contracts. Solution if if for why you wanna why? Why? I mean, you could have uh, a why side here. The constant maybe the arc cosine, right? And that'll you can do that. See arc. Is not uh, probably this. I think actually, let me come in actually. You can probably. What that difference? So, now let's see what this means. D is the rate of DY change this is just some it's a zero of the car Because increases, right? Y KY DY DT. So as it right, it's how fast changing.
gets bigger, Why is it why is Why get small? Then this thing well, this is negative. Doesn't really matter. Positive. Maybe zero is no longer relevant. It gets smaller than of course. Now, where does this happen? A whole bunch of Pick up time, right? And you get to have you got to come up. So what's happening? The amount you can pick Einstein called the universe. That's the on one Fine. So can 
size on one side, the other team on the other side. Not bad. Actually, let me other side. Right. One. Zero and zero. But negative derivative. Well, next zero. One over X. One 
go through. Plus here. Functions that could start negative. Reason not to be upset. Positive. CIP, and there's a sum in the Right? In fact, we're running over all number to a number. Okay, now. This in which in all cases, right? Can't have people. <laughs> okay.
think about Turns out that Assumption. The more So I do it well of information we that's good.
and So I so k times zero one Can anybody
Turns out, the problem. Why? Right? Yeah. Right? So this would just be easy. All right, you take it to rip. You get back one. You get K. And so good as a good But not a whole.
between the of your object. Uh, early is What should of the right where we're right now the One side, we'll teach on the other side. Actually, let's do my knees over here. Good. And now I look One side. Control K time.
need a fun The derivative. Over why am I one you. We play the
So this E to the K five. you want to Uh, 
or what? No. Nope. 